Hi everyone, this is CY once again. Thanks for joining me. Right, um, I have um, done an unboxing video on the DF64E, which is over uh, my desk over here. And today, uh, as what I've mentioned in my uh, video yesterday, I'm going to unbox a very small, compact, <coughs> very retro, um, a very interesting color kind of espresso machine, which is ideal for to be used in Singapore homes because you know our homes are our homes in Singapore are getting smaller and smaller, and we do not uh, need. Not every home requires a dual boiler or heat exchanger uh, to make uh, uh, excellent coffee at home, right? So if uh, your family only makes about two coffees a day, or maybe two coffee in the morning and two coffees at night, and your main drinks are let's say espresso. And uh, not saying that this machine can't do milk based drink, you can, but then because the machine comes with a single thermal block, so in order to do espresso and then switch from espresso to making latte, right, you will actually need the time for the thermal block to reach the uh, steaming temperature, which is, um, I believe, is about 20, 20 to 25 degrees higher as compared to you know, uh, the espresso making temperature, which is about usually traditionally about 20, uh, 92 to about 96 degrees. Celsius, right? Steaming temperature will go up to 125, 130 degrees Celsius, right? So that is the steaming temperature. So the issue with a thermal block that that uh, does both latte, I mean steaming milk, as well as making espresso, the problem is when you pull espresso shots, espresso shots, you are heating the thermal block up to 96 degrees Celsius. Let's say, right? Let's say you are making a, a light roasted coffee, you are pulling espresso shot from light roasted coffee. Most likely you'll be doing at 96 degrees Celsius. But let's say you decided to um, steam milk, right? There's no issue if you pull the espresso shot first because you can just switch the espresso machine from brewing coffee to steaming milk. So the thermal block will just heat up to a, from 96 to maybe 125 degrees Celsius. The heating up has no issue because the thermal block heats up really fast. But the problem is, let's say now you decided to make Another cup of espresso, ah, this comes a problem because your thermal block has been heated up to 125 degrees Celsius and cooling down the machine actually takes longer. Hence, therefore, if you want to, let's say, um, make two latte, my advice is you pull two espresso shot first, then you heat up the thermal block to 125 degrees uh, to get ready to steam milk. Then you can steam one big jug of milk and then use for both cup of uh, espresso and turn them into latte. So without further ado, let's unbox this machine from Quickmail, right? I believe uh, the one I'm unboxing is the yellow color, if I'm not wrong. I believe it's the yellow color, right? Um, I, I really like this machine. I even bought a vintage version of this. And uh, if I can, I'll bring the vintage uh, machine to my workshop, to my showroom. And then I, I can show you side by side and how time has changed, right? How time has changed. But the machine doesn't really change that much, right? So without further ado, let's unbox the video. Ah, do the unboxing, right? Right. So without further ado, let's unbox this machine. Okay, um, the machine was actually quite well padded. Right, so this is the uh, sponge. Right, comes with a uh, Galaxy, a thank you card, Galaxy, Mercy. Right, different language, pretty nice. Um, comes with uh, a manual. So ours is actually the uh, 0820. Right, very simple machine. So I believe this is the instructional manual with uh, uh, the certificate, inspection certificates as usual. And then the, I think this is the, uh, all the EU certification for safety. Right, it's all there, right, safety certifications. Right, let's take out the machine. As usual, with all quick meal machine, the machine is actually wrapped you know, there's actually a red color cover back. So let me bring the box down and leave the machine out of the box. 
Right, so you can see it is a very light machine. I can even hold it with two hands, right? And uh, you can see uh, that's all you have inside the box, right? There's nothing inside, right? Okay, so this is the accessory box, and this is the machine, right? Oh yes, it's the yellow color. Right, that's the, the that is actually the quick meal zero eight two zero. Right, uh, one switch here. And then uh, I believe this is the switch to turn on the brewing. And at the side, right, at the side here, there's the power switch and the steam switch. And that's all. It's a very simple machine. Right, and they use rubber band to actually secure the drip tray. And there's a steam one, I believe is, um, this is the, uh, not an ideal steam one. So I will, We'll probably be removing this because this is not going to steam the milk. Uh, okay, let's do it. We'll test this right to see whether the milk is steam properly. Right. So there's even a protector at the bottom. Right. So let me bring let me bring the camera uh, closer to show you. Right. So I will bring it around to see the machine. So that is the yellow color. Right, very nice machine. Right, water tank. As I mentioned just now, there was actually a piece to protect the group. So this can be removed. I will say that my antique quick meal machine still looks exactly the same way as this machine right even the drip tray looks exactly the same just that there may be some updates i believe let me see what kind of body is this it feels like a plastic body hence therefore it's explained the lightweight right but the top part here is stainless steel Okay, let's remove uh, the wiring. I still come with the UK plug, uh, EU plug, which I'm going to change it. Right, um, two holes. One is returning, one is re um, um, drawing water from the tank. Okay, this has to be rinsed. So I'm going to rinse this later. So basically, that's it. Um, right, let's open the um, box to see what kind of accessory it comes with. Okay, once again, <laughs> comes with a plastic temper, right? So this is not ideal, but we will try to see whether this actually works. Comes with an extra O-ring, right? I have to check which part of this does this belongs to. Right, uh, a double basket. A spoon, plastic one, right? A cleaning brush. I think it comes with every uh, every machines, and um, a very heavy 
color filter right it's very beautifully made right there's a quick mail logo right uh, it is a three pin type so um, it is not the traditional e61 group so if you want to buy the bottomless for this right that may be an issue right but then i will try to find out from quick mail whether they actually supply the bottomless bottomless bottle filter for this right okay let's place all this back here and then let's switch out the basket right uh, usually we don't use the uh, single single cup right single baskets we use a double right so pretty much that's it so um let me rinse the tank and then fill the tank with water and then we're going to try to pull a shot with this right so as you can see at the side i have already filled the tank with water and then uh, i think the power plug is uh, plugging let me turn on the grinder by the way we're going to pair this um, machine with our ds60f4e which we have actually um, tested yesterday so turn on the power this is the power switch right so the moment you switch on the power switch right you can see that there's the, the led light here in front will light up so i believe uh, let's wait for a while for the thermal block to get heated up it's pretty exciting right aesthetically um it is a very nice machine it lo almost looks toy like um very small footprint uh, even though it has a plastic body yeah but then i think that will reduce the cost of this machine um, drastically right um, so let's wait for a while to see how long it takes for the machine to get heated up right uh, this is the blue button so if i switch the blue button on right it will start to dispense water through the group so let's do the test by battery pump ah okay you can see that a steam switch ah this is switching to the steam tip steam tip this has to be pushed all the way in to disengage right so let's test let's test that again ah you can see that's the uh, group dispensing water just now the steam tip steam tip is actually engaged so by pulling out then it will start to dispense water from here right so make sure that this has to be pushed in and then um, and then the, the group will work properly right let me get a towel to clean up right when the time when the machine reached the right temperature for brewing right you can see that the LED light here will be turned off that is to show you that the machine temperature is ready and now we can actually start to pull shots right the locking of the portal filter right is slightly different right there's a three fin one which is very similar to the one on uh, um preview right so you can see that uh, we insert at about seven o'clock and we push and turn all the way to about the five o'clock position so the position to engage and to engage the portal filter is slightly different from other e one crew count machines so let's hit up the uh, Power filter. Okay, looks pretty good. Right, so let me um the one of the downside of having a small machine is that the drip tray on this machine is not big. Right, of course, you expect a small machine to have a smaller drip tray. Right, so let's remove this. Pour away the water. Right, the older version. Uh, used to have uh, used to just place the, uh, you know this um, fill basket right on and if you turn it upside down it will just drop out but now inside there's a spring so it has uh, evolved with time so right now this fill basket will sit nicely here and it doesn't drop out right because there's a spring to uh, friction grip the fill basket And of course, because this is a three fin design, it cannot fit um, um, very nicely on the uh, traditional grinder, which uh, serves mostly E61. 
So what we're going to do is very simple, right? We're going to grind directly to a dosing cup. And then from dosing cup, we're going to dose into the uh, powder filter, right? So let's try that. Uh, I'll be using the uh, espresso blend, which I have uh, roasted a couple of days ago, right? The Indonesian Gallo, right? And the grind setting, I'll probably go at about 15 and let's test how, how it goes, right? So let me get my skill over here. And uh, I believe this is an 18 gram basket, so I'm just going to do 18 grams. Since they provide us with a scoop, let's just use the scoop to scoop the coffee. By the way, the coffee smells great. It's a medium dark roast. Okay, 17.9 gram, I think that's enough. Right, you can see uh, the spoon has a little bit of oil stain, right, because I roasted this uh, towards the dark side. Take this aside. Right, 17.9. Right, let's test the retention again. Static issue is quite quite a big issue on this grinder, uh, as in traditional all the DS64 use of grinder. You can see that the <laughs> static is really uh, scattering all the uh, coffee ground to the body. Right, so but let's see the retention. 17.6, so it's about 0.3 grams of retention. Let's try to bellow out a little bit more. Right, 17.7, .7, right, so it's about 0.2 grams of retention, right, uh, remember I only do about, I only grinded three times yesterday, and on the third time I actually get a zero retention, maybe that's a coincidence by luck, uh, but now it seems that I'm getting about 0.2 grams of retention, right, so let's try to transfer this over, ah, it fits nicely, right, and I'm going to try to use the temper, you know, the plastic one, uh, to, to try to tamp this. But of course, we have to make sure that this is leveled first. Oh, it fits exactly, right? Ah, okay, I'm kind, I'm kind of surprised by the plastic temper, right? Because normally I don't use plastic temper, right? It gives us a very nice sort of concave uh, kind of a curvature, right? Because uh, you can see the temper, it is slightly uh, concave, right? So let's pull a shot, uh, on the virgin shot on this machine and see how it goes. Okay, let me see. Okay, I cannot pull. Let me see whether I'm locking this uh, in the correct position. Mm. Okay, so you can see what happened here. Right, the shower screen is rubbing against the coffee. Right, so that, that means that this machine cannot dose 8 grams. I have dose slightly lesser. So let me tell you what, we'll dose 17 grams and we try again. Otherwise, I, the group, um, the polyfilter cannot lock properly onto the group. Right, so let's dose about 16 grams. I think we don't do seven, 17, we do 16 instead. Okay, exactly 16 grams there. 
Let's check the retention. There's still coffee coming out. Oh, the static is bad. Okay, you can see how much coffee has been uh, piling on. So again, uh, 15.8. I, I suppose they have about 0.1 grams of coffee on the grinder itself. So I think without RDT, right, um, this grinder may not be able to... Um, if you if you are a person that has uh, no uh, compulsive of this um you have a compulsive behavior you cannot take a very dirty grinder then I think you may have an issue right um again try not to get the coffee into the uh, uh grind adjustment area so usually if uh, it gets in there I'll just quickly use a brush to brush it away right okay so let's try to pull a shot on this and see how it goes. Right, I may have grinded too fine, but let's see whether the machine is able to do shots from here. Nothing fancy, no WDT, straight time, right? No distribution. Okay, concave. Whoa, the, the top is pretty hot. Right, so you can see now I'm able to lock all the way to 5 o'clock position. Okay, let's pull a shot. Okay, let me bring the camera closer to give you a better look. Right, so switching on. Not too bad for the first shot, right? I think we pretty much get it. Uh, I may have to grind a little finer, but let's see the shot quality, right? Whoa, nice cup of espresso there. Beautiful crema, right? Darker rows tend to give you a better crema. Right, let's taste this espresso and see how it goes. Right, yesterday was raining and uh, today it was bright and shiny outside. Uh, there's a bit of, bit of backlighting there, but hope you don't mind. But let's try the espresso. Cheers. Wow. Ah, the sweetness is there. The espresso feels warmer than the normal espresso I get from my standard E61. Mm, it is sweet. I'm really surprised by this uh, cute little machine, uh, its performance. And of course, the grinder has to play a part as well, right? Our DF, you know, uh, 64E over there, right? Um, on the whole, I like this machine. And uh, let's do a cup of latte and see uh, whether it can perform properly. Uh, over the steam one, right? Because I'm uh, a bit concerned with that steam one design. I hope it's not the uh, steam one that you found on those uh, uh, DeLong power machines, right? Okay, but let's 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 test it out and see how it goes. Right before we uh, steam milk, um, remember we have to pull a shot first. Another shot. Okay, the top is really very hot, so I think it's really effective. And uh, as a cup uh, warming. Uh, um, cup warming tray on top, right? So if you can see the coffee puck is really dry and uh, Let me knock it out and see the extraction Okay, let me get a wooden stand
right? Let's knock it out and see how it goes. Whoa, it just fall out. And you can see the nice part over there. Right, even though um, I use a classic temper without WDT, without RDT, I'm still able to get a very nice extraction. Right, so this is quite amazing for, for now. And let me get a latte cup and then uh, let's make a cup of latte. I hope this is going to be successful, right? <laughs> okay, so I think the grind size, I'm going to go a little bit finer. Right, just someone was grinding at 15. Now I'm grinding at about 13. Right, because I feel that the flow is still a, a, a little bit too fast. And I think 16 gram is ideal on this machine. So let's do let's do uh, uh, 16 gram. Okay, 15.9, I think that's good enough. So, um, I'm just going to dose and grind. Uh, let me see whether with the use of a metal dosing cup will solve uh, uh, a little bit of the static issue. Right, so let me switch to a metal dosing cup. But before that, let me clear all the coffee ground. Even the screen has uh, some coffee ground attracted. So, uh, yeah, that's the downside of, about all the ES64 series of grinder. Retention is still a, quite a major issue, right? But the grind quality is good. So we dose 15.9. Right, so let's try. I think the static problem has been resolved uh, quite drastically, in fact, by just replacing uh, the dosing cup to a metal one, right? You can see there's only a little bit of static at the mouth as compared to just now. 15.7, just now we dose 15.9, so it's consistently it's about 0.2 grams of retention. Right, so same thing, we're just going to use the um, plastic temper that comes with the machine. Usually I'm quite skeptical about this uh, plastic temper, but I'm quite surprised that this one fits really nicely. Right, and uh, it's able to tamp uh, consistently as well. Oh, the machine is very hot, right? So be careful, don't burn yourself. Let me bring you closer. Switch on. Hmm, okay. Espresso looks good. Let's look at this. Really rich in crema. Color is beautiful. Right, so now we're going to switch on to the steaming. This is the on the power switch for steaming, I believe. You can hear the palm kicking up. So let's remove this. Right, steam has been produced. Hmm, pretty good. It's quite consistent, right? So, 
Um, but I, I'm not too sure whether I want to use this because it will make the uh, cleaning very, very difficult. So let me try to remove this uh, plastic and then we do the traditional steaming, right? Right, so to remove this, there are three clip-on uh, plastic. So you just have to pull it slightly open and then slightly down, right? So this will give you a traditional steam, um, steam tip. And uh, I've already got some milk. Let me get the wet towel ready. Right, so let's push the steam again. The steam is pretty dry. So I can see I put my arms at the bottom. Yeah, it is very dry, which is good. Right, so I already got the milk ready. So let's see whether this thing can steam properly, right? Let me bring the camera a little bit closer to give you a better angle. Okay, it's getting hot. Okay, it's done. Okay, this is the first time uh, me trying to steam milk on this uh, um, 0820. Let me uh, just push out the milk that's inside there. Good. Let me see whether the steam tip is clean properly because I do not want uh, the last thing I want to, to happen is have the milk kick onto this steam tip. You'll be really a pain to clean, right? So look at the steaming, the milk, right? It's a little bit too, uh, I don't know, looks pretty okay, pretty decent. And see whether we can do some latte art on this, right? <laughs> okay, let's give you a go. Okay, so there you go. Okay, not too bad for the first try, you know. I'm pretty impressed. Right, so as you can see, um, from unboxing to grind coffee to making coffee, um, this machine heats up in about two to three minutes, like a standard thermal block. Um, and two great espresso, right? Uh, make great milk, right? Just remove the uh, plastic attachment. It's steam like a pro, right? Uh, espresso is good. Uh, certainly on the hotter side, I would I would say, right? Maybe if I uh, use darker rolls, may not be ideal. But I'm still able to pull um, very decent sweetness and totally no acidity from the espresso, uh, which is kind of a uh, Surprising, and there's no burnt taste at all, right? Even though this is a medium, medium dark roast, right? And they make a great, great cup of latte. So, cheers, everyone. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed today's video, right? Uh, today we are, we are unboxing this uh, machine from Quick Meal, right? Do reach out to us if you're interested to get one of these because we are the Quick Meal authorized dealer in Singapore, right? We are the only authorized dealer in Singapore for Quick Meal, right? And they make excellent, uh, high quality machines. So, cheers. Let's try the coffee. Ah, it's great. I'm in love with this machine. Small in size, retro looking. Everything is great, right? Um, you may criticize that it has a plastic body, but uh, uh, it makes good espresso and if you have a small home and if you like the retro routine, 
right? Uh, this may be the machine for you, right? So this is UI once again. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you have enjoyed today's content, right? Um, do uh, like our videos, subscribe to our channel, and then don't forget to hit the uh, bell, right? If you want to stay updated with uh, all the videos we have been uploading, right? So thank you for joining us today, and uh, I will see you very soon in the next one. And stay safe. Cheers. Mm. It's good. <laughs>